it's time I wake up, this is seven years old. We've been seven years cold, and now it's time for summer. Walls came down, walls that were holding us in. They've been holding us in without a place to call home. And it's all burning down in the fire. Taking us to the end of home. <sighs> What's going on everybody? Chuck here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. We are top dressing the lawn as best I can. I honestly didn't buy enough of this stuff. So yeah, what I got here uh, is called Magic Mix by my local nursery. It is sand, it is compost, and it is Tennessee red clay or native topsoil they call it. It's not screened really well. There are plenty of chunks of, this is a piece of bark. There's some rocks in here. I'm not going for real mowing. I'm not going for precise leveling. Any big chunks of hard stuff I'm getting rid of, but most of this stuff is still good enough just to keep down, have as organic material, change the composition of the red clay in the front yard, because over time the compost will break down and get into the red clay and um, just help it not, you know, help with compaction a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to answer the question and make a little bit more sense as to what is the difference between top dressing and leveling your lawn, because at least when I was first getting started, even still somewhat to today, it, the terms are interchangeable and people use them uh, in so many different ways it's hard to keep track. Basically, it comes down to the amount of material needed to get your desired result. If you are top dressing your lawn, you're using a little bit of material. The number I seem to find is no more than a quarter of an inch in certain areas. Um, and there is a leveling aspect to that, but it depends on the material you're using. Whereas if you're leveling a lawn, you're using a lot more material and you're limited to the materials you can use. If you're trying to go for leveling, you don't want anything with organic material, no compost, no bags of topsoil from your local big box stores because that organic material is gonna break down over time. So if you have this dip in the lawn, let's say it's this extreme U here, you're gonna level it off with that organic material. Even if there's sand in it, you're gonna try to level it off. And sure, it's gonna be level for now, but as that organic material breaks down, it's that dip is gonna start coming back, but it won't be as extreme because you are building up that soil layer. But because topsoil or organic material doesn't have the same structure as like a sand or like a clay or something like that, it doesn't have the same hold, so it gives over time, whereas sand and red clay does have that structure, that hold to it. So that's why a lot of people use that to level their lawn, or if they're top dressing to level their lawn, they use something like a sand because there is no give into it. If you're top dressing with compost or topsoil or some kind of organic material, you're basically just trying to add nutrients to your soil. Like I did a couple years ago when I used the black cow on my lawn, which turned that lawn green. I love black cow, this stuff is amazing. But there is an aspect of leveling to it. But like I said, over time that's gonna break down, but you're adding all that nutrients in the soil, feeding the microbes in the soil with that compost or whatever's in that topsoil. So it's really, really good. It just doesn't do a good job leveling. And so if you do something like I have, like I did with this magic mix, there are leveling aspects to it because it has the sand, it has the native topsoil. Uh, so there is some leveling aspects to it, but there is also that compost. So that will break down over the time. So a lot of these areas I've sort of fixed, they'll come back a little bit, just not as bad because of that sand and that topsoil that is in that mix. We are wrapped up, finished, finally. It is hard to spread dirt in the dark. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't spread dirt in the dark. It's important in life to have, you know, these keep learning. And so what's a lesson that I learned doing this process now that it's the second time I've ever top dressed my lawn? 
first time was at the old house in the side yard. If you recall that video, I'll link to it down below if you want to watch that, is that I concentrated way too much on this area back here. So I want to say I put 75% of the dirt back here. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not as much, but a lot of it was here and I put the piles too close together. So when I started raking out the piles, knock them down, leveling a little bit, I had six or seven, eight inches of material by maybe another six inches wide bumping in to existing piles. So I ended up with this massive pile, not massive, but you know, a gorilla cart full and a good gorilla cart full right here um, by the end of the night. And so this morning I got up and I scooped up that dirt, put in the gorilla cart and I put some more over here, focused over here a little bit more and on the side yard. I'll show you the side yard here in a second, what it looks like. Side yard could have definitely used a scoop or two on its own, um, but I'm okay with it for this set, for, for what this is, I'm okay with it. It's just, if you're doing it, really plan out your piles and plan out where you're dumping stuff um, better than I did. So you don't have this massive pile left over right here in the middle and you're like, oh, and it's even covered. You know, I got probably an inch in some area, most areas is probably about an inch, half an inch in others. And then you got spots right here by that stake and the, the power box. That's about six to eight inches, I think. It's just a big dip right there. So I got it mostly evenly covered. There was an aspect of leveling. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. You know, kind of a simple one. Um, just make sure that you plan out your topsoil better than I did. But anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless. It's time for me to start putting some seed down. <laughs>